There is no Gotham Knights without Batman family. The fans trust us to be true to the universe. They also want to be surprised. Really, everything is new. Batman family means different things to different people. We have chosen to explore the theme of found family within the context of Batman family. There's been a big fracture in the Batman family. They're at odds at each other. They're fighting. They're, they're not a cohesive group. They've never had the chance to, to work together because they've all been working fairly independent with the exception of Robin. As you progress through the entire game, you're going to see this gradually change. Move. I'm going to solve this case my way. I think each night embodies some of those traits just at different times. Nightwing can have the attitude sometimes, maybe Batgirl the other times, and even the tough guy, Red Hood. You know, he can be the more passionate one at times. But the one thing they all share is that drive to become the next knight. They don't start in perfect harmony. They don't start with perfect balance because they're dealing with a lot of trauma and a big loss. Stop it! He wanted us to work this together. But throughout the game, they come together, and that's for a very simple reason. They've chosen to care for each other, and they've chosen each other as a family. Now you're talking. We have character arcs for each of our knights with key cinematics that unlock from start to end of the game. Through these arcs, we explore different things with each of our knights. One thing we delve into is how trauma can affect memory, how grief can linger, and isn't just resolved in a single moment, or even might not be about just a single loss. When the fans found out that Batman was dead in our game, uh, some of them were expecting to see him. Most of the fans saw the opportunity to experience the universe their own way with new heroes, new dynamics, and as a family. We've known the Knights as superheroes with their masks, but what was it like to kind of see them behind the mask as humans? When we look at the way each knight was designed, we took a cue from our, our comic book roots. You know, we did some pretty classic uh, shape language design. For example, Red Hood, blocky, square, tank-like. Batgirl is more symmetrical and uh, balanced. Robin, lower, lighter, stealthy. And Nightwing, agile, angular, sharp. By having that kind of shape language, it not only helps us develop the way the characters look, but it also goes on to support how the characters move in animation. The team put a lot of effort in making every character really special, with emotional ways to react to situations. Every character has its own path. We worked with Wilson and the cinematics team to make sure that we could showcase their progression, not just in the things they say, but also in what they do. We wanted to create a custom experience for the player and for the viewer to kind of see that they're going to structurally have the same scene, but they're going to see that scene with their own flavor, depending on who they play. Clear out now. No regret it. Having a very solid foundation with the performance of the actors was critical because we got that nice base level. Once we take that, we actually bring it with the animators to kind of fine tune and really improve everything, bring those facial emotions, putting their take on it. And this is something that we really wanted to make sure that we got it right. In the Belfry, we see the Knights uh, as humans, as young people talking to each other, having a life, wearing more contemporary, normal clothes. And that's a big contrast to how they look as Knights. Belfry Clock Tower is actually where the four of them establish their base of operations, which is essentially their version of the Batcave. This place is quite remarkable. It's certainly brighter than the Batcave. Alfred is literally the glue of the Batman family. He is a confidant, someone they can rely on, and someone with whom grief is shared and understood. I'll always be here when you need me, Master Richard. When any of you need me. Previously, Alfred had to really manage Bruce by himself. Now fast forward to Gotham Knights, now he has four versions of Bruce that he has to manage. He is steady and endlessly reliable, but he also will not put up with anyone's nonsense. Alfred's fatherly. He's tough, he's caring, he's stoic. We took a pretty old school approach, iterating on sketches and sculpts until we found something that really resonated with us emotionally. When you have the four heroes there together with Alfred, kind of figuring out the space, we've actually managed to pack in, I think, almost 40 cinematics in that little space. 
but each tell a very different story and a very different perspective of how they live together as a group. Every time Bruce came home, I patched him up, just as I now do for you. It was important that our players would be able to relate to these characters on a very basic human level. And that's what we wanted to showcase with our Belfry moments, not just in the cinematics that happen there, but also in the environment and the ambient conversations, even in the props you find through the Belfry. There has been so much love put by our entire team in this game, so much effort and dedication. I really hope it shines through and it provides an amazing experience. I really hope fans and players appreciate the variety of looks they can have for their night. I hope they find one that resonates with them and it kind of becomes their favorite. Pre-order now and get the 233 custom Bat Cycle skin. PlayStation.